the childish mindset that turns me off. It's not even like, I mean, the body count, like, sure, I guess. But at the same time, it's not, I don't really care for that part, if I'm being honest. I, I really don't, because in the end, some people get to where they're going by doing something for some reason. If the reason is childish, then I don't want you, because how long are you going to be childish for? Hey, yo, I'm toasted. Uh, ideas and today I saw a video I wanted to react to and it is by a channel that goes by unrealness uh, and the title is the outcomes of unfiltered internet while growing up in parentheses hopefully fake and yeah Anywho, let's get into it. I'm not one of these giant red pill kind of people that are trying to convince men that pretty much all women are trash. That's just ridiculous. I'm not trying to convince women to avoid joining one of these fan accounts and ruining their lives. I'm, I'm not one of those types of people. You are obviously free to do whatever it is you want to do as long as it's not hurting anybody. And so first things first, uh, things I would like to already note is this dude has an absolute in with nurses or doctors because do you see that bulging vein right there like bro has an in with the nurses i bet, bet he is the hot shot when he gets to go to the doctors or something anywho it's kind of gross and that being said let's bring up this video and go over it point by point i want to be passed around so bad but my boyfriend just wants a monogamous relationship it's 2024. Expecting to be with one person for your entire life is, like, unreasonable. Okay, saying it's 2024 is not a good argument on really anything. Every year since the dawn of time, this has probably been said. It's 1999. It's 2005. It's 2012. I don't know how mentioning the year is even relevant. Now, not to cast judgment on people, I think monogamous relationships are probably the healthiest ones you can get. I don't know statistically exactly, but I'm gonna say that it's it's probably a safe bet that going into monogamy is the safest one. And I mean, if you're on Reddit, then you'll know that that statement's absolutely correct. Like, I'm pretty sure I, I read more uh, ending stories. Ending, that's what you term. I, I, I hear or listen to more stories of open relationships that don't work than I do of open relationships that do work. And in the vast majority of the content that I listen to while I'm working, it's typically of a story of someone or someone's partner all of a sudden wanting to get into an open relationship, which typically means that they were cheating and they just want to justify them cheating. So, yeah, he is absolutely right, especially if you go by Reddit standards, which that is what I would generally know. So, yeah. Associating just sex as the means for your happiness isn't exactly true. Yes, good sex is important in a relationship, but it's not going to be the only means of happiness. Now, she says right at the beginning she wants to be passed around so bad. I want to be passed around so bad. I don't even know what to say to that. That's pretty damn disgusting. I'm a young 18-year-old Latina. I'm trying to get my face blasted by multiple men. Now we're going off the deep end. That's pretty insane just to say. I mean, my first thoughts on this whole entire thing is that because, as I said, the title is, at the end of it, is in parentheses, hopefully fake. I'm going to take a wild guess and say this is, like, to promote something of hers, you know, get men aroused and therefore make money from aroused men. So that's what I'm suspecting. I think it'll be fake, but, I mean... Technically, you'll never know nowadays. Like, I haven't even had a quickie in a bathroom stall. I have so much to live for. And you're telling me that I have to stay with this one guy because I love him so much. I don't think you love this man at all. I don't. I really don't think you do. But there's literally guys out there with 13-inch meats waiting to destroy me. It would just be so unfortunate if I were to go my whole entire life without getting piped by at least 100 different people just to see who I like the most. I really my problem is the question of why like why do you want to get piped down by a hundred different dudes that's very pointless like what's the purpose what's the end goal to as she says to meet the right one but like how does getting piped down equate to finding the right one quote unquote how does that work i just it doesn't make any kind of sense. It doesn't make any sense, which is why I'm thinking it's fake, because I don't know who in their logical thinking mind would actually have this I idea of thinking of this. I don't know how you would get to the idea of how getting piped down is a smart idea. I mean, like, it, I guess it can be a smart idea for trying to find someone who is good at S, but aside from that, you're not going to be finding 
dudes with good qualities. You're just going to find, well, I mean, aside from the S, of course, but you're not going to find dudes with, like, culpable personalities that you can get along with. You're just going to find dudes who know how to have S. That's it. So it's very pointless. We hope this is fake. I really hope that this is some kind of parody. I'm really hoping this is fake. So let me get this straight. You want to be piped down by at least a hundred men with around 13 inches of meat. I guarantee you by the time you get through half of that, the first 50, they want nothing to do with you. And then the next 50, definitely don't want anything to do with you. And I want to say this as lightly as possible. At that point, you would be nothing but a used up sex toy. Now, is it fair for me to say that no man after going through a hundred men at 13 inches would not want to be with you? No, there's probably going to still be people who would, you know, give you a shot. But by this point, with this much experience, I don't know if anybody's going to ever satisfy whatever cracked out craving you were feeling. No man, no matter what, after that much experience, Honestly, the thing that turns me off from her isn't the fact of her getting wanting to be piped down by 100 dudes, but it's the childish way that she goes about doing this. That That's what turns me off. It's the childishness of it. Like, she just wants it for the sake of wanting it. There could, nothing, there could be nothing more childish than that act in and of itself because a child wants candy for the sake of wanting candy because, oh boy, it tastes good. Uh, there's no... There's no mental forethought of the future in that child. And so I, I look at it as just being a, a point of childishness, which she's 18 and she's still acting childish like that. That's that's my issue. That's my issue. She's not looking to have S for the sake of money. She's just looking to have S for the sake of having S. Like it's it, it's it's a childish mindset. There's nothing in between those ears that are firing at all like nothing is happening there because it's just uh whole math honestly puts it perfectly in his video like the whole entire levels chart i he puts it perfectly i'm pretty sure if i don't have the chart open right now but if i did i'm pretty sure she's like the level two opportunistic level is it uh that's what i think it is like it's or survivalist maybe even i don't know anywho it's the childish mindset that turns me off. It's not even like, I mean, the body count, like, sure, I guess. But at the same time, it's not, I don't really care for that part, if I'm being honest. I, I really don't, because in the end, some people get to where they're going by doing something for some reason. If the reason is childish, then I don't want you, because how long are you going to be childish for? Like, you have to grow up, you have to be an adult, you have to do adult things. And if all you're doing is worrying about things that aren't of that nature, then what the hell are you doing with your time? Like, granted, you can, you can be childish at times, but to dumb yourself down that much? That's gonna be a big ol' nope for me. I don't... I wouldn't want to be anywhere near that because that would do nothing but just hinder my own abilities to grow as a human being. Think of the think of the time you're wasting with a hundred different dudes like let's let's make a fair like a very quick assumption that these dudes are taking what's the average time during s like five minutes or something like that uh, like a hundred people for five minutes what what is that math I don't know because I'm not really th well it's 500 minutes which 500 divided by 60 it's about 10. 10 hours, almost nine. It'll be like 8.8 8, 8 hours and 20 minutes or something like that. Quick estimates, okay? I don't actually know. I'm not looking at a calculator or anything here. But that's a lot of your life that you're wasting away for literally nothing. Like, why? Why? Uh, like, uh, I, can, I can do myself for half that time and then i'll have my brain actually useful because you know posting the clarity and everything but like why why you're you're not even doing anything with that time you're just spending that time to spend it for the sake of spending it like you're 18 grow the f up you have a whole life ahead of yourself and yet you decide to start it off by doing absolutely nothing it's childish. That's what turns me off. It's the childish factor of it. It's completely and utterly pointless. Experience 
would be able to give you what you would desire. Because what you would desire at that point would be basically impossible. Your brain and expectations would be so warped that nobody could ever, ever fill those shoes, even if that next person had 13 inches of meat. But whatever happened to the part about the guy who's going to treat you well on top of, you know, good sex? Is the boyfriend that you are currently with satisfying you sexually? I would assume so since you're still around with these kind of crazy desires. That tells me that this dude is either really overwhelming or really underwhelming. I, I really couldn't tell. But what about everything else? Like how he treats you? What is his personality like? What kind of things is he into? Do you guys share interests? Good sex is obviously a cornerstone, especially in a young, healthy relationship, but it's definitely not the entire story. But after getting ran through by a hundred men with 13 inch meat, your personality is going to be the least of your future prospects concern. My final thoughts, you guys, is that there is a lot of temptation in the world. There's a lot of desires in the world. It does not mean you need to feed into every single one of them. If you want to live a happy and successful life, a lot of the temptations probably should be avoided. But when you are constantly being bombarded by a lot of this disgustingness all over Twitter, pretty much any website for that matter, it is kind of hard to avoid and look away. Something tells me that when this girl was growing up, she was either probably absent her father or it was terrible parenting overall. Maybe she had both parents, but she was sat in front of a tablet or a laptop her entire childhood as her parent, being exposed to completely unfiltered nastiness that is the internet. She says in the video that she's 18, and if she really is that young, she didn't develop all these desires from conversations with her friends. Anyways, you guys, like I said, I hope it's fake. I hope this is some kind of... Yeah, I mean, he points out exactly what I kind of went over in the video of me talking about how a fatherless generation, that video, uh, which I, I still appreciate. It's very nice, but it... He went over exactly what I talked about, about how every how people are nowadays growing up with YouTube and what or YouTube only fans models and shit like that. Everyone is now growing up with those people as our role models. And then you end up with situations like this where people don't grow up because they're currently living in a life of non-existence, which is Internet. Because the Internet, let's be real, it... it aside from it being in reality, doesn't actually exist. These people living lives of luxury and lavishness are, the chances of you meeting those people or becoming those people is very unlikely, or at least for being 18. So you're, you're living vicariously through people who are living lives completely different than you. And well, then you end up with childishness because they just don't grow up and understand their own circumstances. But, aside from that, it's, yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I think it's, it's, I think it's, it's like a satire or something of that sort, because I don't, I don't, I suspect it's just there to, like, promote a page or something of hers, be on whatever site it is. I'm pretty sure, I'm guessing, because... I don't know who is going to be in a relationship and then actively talk about getting uh, ran through unless they have like, unless the dude has like a, a kink or something. I don't know. I, I think it's there just to promote a page, if I were to guess. I could be wrong. I could absolutely be wrong, but that's what I think. But aside from that idea, if it is a real thing, then I don't know what the boyfriend is doing. Why is he with someone who is 18 and still acting childish like that? What are you doing? Like, that is, that is a miserable relationship. I, uh, that's miserable. That is absolutely miserable. I can't imagine spending time like that with someone who is childish I, I can't imagine because that that just seems like it would just suck away your soul both literally and figuratively anywho let me know your thoughts down in the comments because maybe you have disagreements maybe you agree anywho uh while you're down there hit that subscribe button become a fellow bread bag and also hit that like button so that people who may not have seen this video can see this video and so that they might also join the bread box because once again we need more bread got it good but anywho until next time which i hope to see you have a good one